AMG Innovative Consultants again for our weekly chat about my blog this week. So this month we're talking about how to organize your stores for a more fluid replenishing rate, for uh, ability to really maximize what you're selling and how quickly you're selling uh, in order to make that top dollar versus having to wait for things to go on sale. So one of the main keys I discovered in my 20 years of working retail is if you happen to have a back stock area, even if it's minimal, if it's in the back stock, guess what? It's not selling. It's not on your floor. So one of my big keys that I learned in my the second store that I actually ever run was how your organized back stock, how organized your back stock was depending on how much money you could add to your bottom dollar your bottom line. So that second store was a store that I took from being a $500,000 store a year and on the verge of a closing list to in two and a half years, an $8 million store. A minimum of $1 million to my bottom line was added because we reorganized how we did shipping and receiving and how we organized our back room. That was our main key. So organization, even though it's a process and it's physical and you have to actually phys do the work to make it happen in the long run, once it's set up and you've got a setup that works even with changing uh, inventory needs, it's going to bring additional money into your store. Um, and if you are in e-commerce, it's the same thing. I mean, if you can't, if you have an item listed on inventory and you can't find it, you're, you need to look at how you're organized. So again, one of the things I can do for people is I can actually come in and help you create an organization plan and look at how best to organize your setups to maximize the amount of money that you're gonna bring in at top dollar versus having to go sell it because six months later, a seasonal item you find hidden under something else that doesn't work. We need to make sure that we are on top and taking care of our product as well as servicing and helping our clients when they're there and when they need the product, not six months later. So that was my big my big thing is organization is key. Um, it's And you're gonna wanna look at your analytics. Um, you know, numbers, I'm huge on numbers. What are the things that sell the most? What are your most popular items? Those need to be where they're easy to replenish. If you know, you've got some items that, you know, they sell, but they're not always selling well, but they still are, are profitable for you. You're going to want to put them somewhere else because, you know, the product that's top of mind, that's always selling needs to be um, available right away. Usually it's going to be a seasonal item if you, if you do dabble in the seasonal side of, of retail. So with that, um, if you have questions, comments, keep bringing them in. Love to hear from people. Uh, I hope you enjoy your weekend. We are in for the long haul here in the Inland Empire with like excessive heat warnings. I think we've lived in this home for three weeks and we've got two weeks of excessive heat warnings already. So yay us. So I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Let me know if you have comments or questions. You can find me on any of my social media sites from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, as well as my, my website at amginnovativeconsultants.com. So if you are looking for someone to really just help get the nitty gritty of how to organize um, your back room, your shipping and receiving area, let me know. Schedule your retail success strategy session with me at my website and I will help you uh, figure out how best to organize the space you have to make it as profitable as possible. So with that, have a great weekend everybody and uh, enjoy uh, making money. <laughs>